Monty comes over. I know. You. This is Monty's third time with me scratching her butt today. He'll oh, she it. loves this. I know. She she knows her tails on camera. I know. You know she's waiting for her treat. But, you know, so. And you know, we're in here because part of it is we're staying warm because the heater's right here. Yeah, you know, still, this is a California beach house. There is no heaters in California beach houses. It I doesn't know. get we cold. Call floor heaters. Yeah. Right? And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, you would think so. They're all telling you how the Republicans basically have to change. Okay, in order for the Republicans to exist as a party, they have to stop being Republicans and join the Democrats because they're too extremist. I, I, I keep trying to explain to people, Democrats didn't put a Republican in office. Republican voters put Republicans in office. They're put uh -huh. in office to stop the president's spending. I mean, this guy, he, he, he's going, okay, what happens is, they're splitting the Democratic, they're splitting the Republican Party. There is the Republican Party, and then there's the 47 people plus Boehner that will vote for the president. And that's because they're the old hard, these are the same people that gave you uh, John McCain and Mitt Romney instead of doing, they have a ton of people that are young that basically could have articulated things. Obama cannot get off of a teleprompter. This guy, if he gets off a teleprompter, I know, you know, this is a year that should have been a slam dunk. Well, they said it was a year. They, it was a no lose. They said they took us in. Romney, for instance, just totally quit the last two weeks of the election. Mm -hmm. After he, all the polls showed it was over. He quit. Mm -hmm. And I, I always doubt it when somebody that uh, that somebody that spent a hundred million dollars won for the first try. And put all and put four years into a second try. Quits the two weeks before the election. Mm -hmm. That you know there was basically there was what is realistic, and then there's what is you know. My guess is someday will turn up as a bad movie on a sci-fi channel. And Colorado theater shooting judge orders Fox reporter to testify. Yeah, but they don't have to because the law directly Garrett president. So what happens is these people always put reporters in jail cells, and they always lose it because the Supreme Court says you can't do it. But they'll keep them in a court. They'll keep them locked up in a jail cell for months while the case is going to the Supreme Court and the justice. I mean, unless it's something that has to do with something serious. <clears throat> for instance, the woman has nothing. Um, I mean, <coughs> had nothing to do with the shooting. She just um, was told something that is irrelevant because the guy confessed. For Christ's sake! I mean, uh, what are you trying a person that confessed for? And Senator Harry Reid, no immigration reform bill without citizenship. Uh, well, the problem is, is that the Democrats are getting all of these things on television that sell all these polls. The majority of the people are demanding that the, you know, the people that are here illegally be moved to the head of the line and be given citizenship. Well, no, that's not going to happen because they aren't all demanding they move to the head of the line. And they said, well, the poll, was, uh, here's one, they did submit that the poll was taken heavily among people well, that basically are Latino. The other part is as they're increasing the tax rates, there's a lot of immigrants that probably don't want to become citizens because the... They don't want to become citizens. A lot of these people could have became citizens a long uh -huh. time ago. They chose not to because they, they're, they, consider, they, uh, they consider this to be Mexico. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're, 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 you know, they're, they lost the war. They got their butts kicked more than one time, and it is not Mexico. It's not Republic de Mexico. I mean, so and then they send their money back to Mexico, and then bring more people over to work. But it's, mm -hmm. the problem is, is that um, the unions are pissed off about it. Why are the unions? Pissed because off? they're taking work from union workers. Ah. Because that's they're funny. working for less money. So. Of course. And throw the bums out. Seventy-five percent back Congress term limits. Yeah, there, 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 oh, there, 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 there are there are local term limits of which people ignore. Remember, there is a New York State term limit for serving in mm -hmm. office, and Bloomberg. the mayor of Bloomberg decided to stay a term beyond because it was too important. Mm -hmm. He and then the, he knows they're going to lose it in court, so he decided to step down. Oh, he did. Finally, yeah. And throw um, with array of challenges, Obama kicks off the second term. He, they said there's no way he's going to get. He's not going to get his new taxes in. He's not going to get his spending in. He's going to have to do everything by executive order. And the courts, all, you know, the courts always overturn. Um, uh, the, the president of the United States only has authority to do so much. He cannot, he cannot by executive order tell a person they can't own an assault rifle. He cannot by an executive order tell a person he has to put a, 
a GPS system in their auto bill so they can take a mileage. You cannot, by executive order, make a carbon tax. He cannot because he only has authority over executive issues. That is not, you know, like this, this morning they told him flat out, we're, we, we're putting the pipeline across state property, not federal property. You have no authority uh, to period to tell us what we can and cannot do on state property. So, and Obama weighs in on his wife's hair, says he likes her bangs. I know. I, I, I thought that they basically look like the two most. I, I've been, I've seen presidents inaugurations for, for God, like seven decades. I've never seen two more arrogant people in my entire life. Than Why that. do you say that? Because they're they're just basically like up yours, everybody is what they were doing. They're, it's just they were making a point of being smart asses everywhere they went. Oh. She's got you know her look down upon everybody, and and he's got his. I'm I am Obama the first. They said it was not, they said it was probably one of the worst inaugurations that they have ever seen in this nation. And they, they, they laid it on the hands of the fact the president was trying to be politically correct. So He's already president, he's just being... Well, no, but he has no intention of leaving the president. I, actually, I mean, he probably does, but what happens is, if another week or so, Congress is going to, do, the Senate is going to declare us as a single party system nation, which means... He, that we'll no longer have a president, we'll have a prime minister, and Obama is the head of the party. We'll continue to be prime minister as long as the Democrats leave and stay in office. Mm -hmm. Well, I know I was watching the late night talk shows, and it's like they were making, it's like it was all about her bangs. You know, <laughs> and, and, no. the, and the fact that she dressed inappropriately. Oh. They said it was an inappropriate dress for something that is, they decided that she would be non traditional, so they would set a standard for all other no it, it, okay the biggest thing that is wrong with obama is that he's never he, he's never read a history book he's never read the constitution he does not know he flat out says he he does not he doesn't watch television he doesn't read this stuff he has no he has clue. advisors yeah advisors are nothing but okay one of the people said his advisors are nothing more than the emperor's new clothes they mm -hmm. do not tell him no matter what, he finds out the problems the, on television when somebody tells him. You know, oh. they'll bring it on a press conference, he'll say, what? That's oh. why he doesn't hold press conferences. Oh. And no flubs, no redos for Obama and Roberts at swearing in. I thought they said it was like the fourth time he got sworn in or something. Oh, yeah, because Obama actually, he doesn't, okay, we've got to put it this way, he's a Muslim, he, don't, he won't admit he's a Muslim, and, he, and doing a bit on the Bible bothers him immensely. Because uh, because it is an offense to the Muslim religion to do that, so he's done it. Well, he done the official one in private, at which basically they had a picture, which doesn't mean that he ever actually has in the Bible. He can make it look like the photographer can make it look like he did, oh. and then there's a picture of him with a hand, you know, like from the from the. There angle were two books yeah. on the picture that I saw. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And senior directors. Oh, I can just see them going. Okay, wait. Um, come over this way a little bit more. So that I can make it look like your hands on the Bible. Oh my gosh. Senior uh, Democrats have said it to finally pass a budget. Yeah, but it's going to include tax and take tax increases. Well, it's dead on arrival because the, they're already planning to throw out the, as they say, I think it's rather funny. What's that? That Obama has got, the, they said Obama controls 40%, 47% of the vote in this nation. And Obama has 47 Republicans in his back pocket. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is sort of coincidental, isn't it? Uh huh. And Massachusetts crime lab chemist charged with evidence tampering. Oh yeah, my my, my father always hated that being a police officer because, I mean, he would basically, you know, even though my father was like a rent a cop in the Los Angeles Police Department, reserve reserve person, that basically did all the the, the Hollywood functions and stuff. My father would though do. He would go out on crime because you, when you have, when you're not working officer, sometimes you get called. He would go there and then he would flat out swear. And he'd come home. And he said, uh, "We never found any of that stuff." Mm -hmm. And they uh, and then they, they would tell my father said he'd go tell the people upstairs and he said, uh, "Don't worry about it. They're getting what they deserve." Oh. Isn't that great? Mm -hmm. And a bitter defeat for Merkel months before German election. Yeah, basically, uh, their, Merkel is on her way out because she bust, she's busted a country that had a massive bank account trying to take, she'd been, actually she's been trying with money like China to take control of, of Europe. The problem is they, 
China. But Japan, Germany is not as large. And China, of course, it's on money. Germany uh, basically using the mark. Oh, they're doing, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Analysis, Apple earnings need to overcome technical malaise. No, they're not, te well, the technical malaise is they've designed a bad product and a bad product is basically not selling. Mm -hmm. they're, they were a one-trick pony. They they built, they, 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 I, first of all, the iPhone is nothing more than a rip-off of the smartphone which control, which was developed by people that are now making the Androids. And they are in court over that fact. And nobody, they've reached the, they've reached the total amount of people that are going to buy their products, and their product is now stagnating. I mean, Apple has lost $527 a share since, um, since Steve Jobs died. Mm -hmm. And they're going to keep losing because the, they have nothing out there. I mean, the, the mini thing was a disaster because they sold it at the same price. And the new iPhone doesn't, and everything they're doing can't be used with anything you already own. So it just mm -hmm. irritates people. And nearly 40% of House members don't represent their birth state. Well, I would have thought it would be more than that because can you imagine a person, most people leave the states that they were born in uh -huh. because they go, their families go to where the work is. So, you figure if uh, 60, nearly 60 percent, or 60 plus percent of the people that are in Congress and the Senate actually were born in the state they're representing, that's that's the anomaly, not the rule. And Biden hints at 2016 presidential run. Well, you know, he called himself this year as president of the United President of the United States. I will be doing this. He remember, did? yeah, remember, I'm trying to I keep explaining this. Barack Obama is only president as long as the Democrats want him to stay president, and they're going to, Benghazi is hanging over his head because the day they just, they were very unhappy with Hillary Clinton and the fact that she was playing lapdog. She basically, uh, I cannot picture, I mean, she blew her president, any chance for president, even at 67, went out the window today because... Um, well, what happened today? Well, no, she, they said they knew. I mean, I saw one of the, one of the CIA, CIA people that's retired looking like he was, he said, I, I had respect for that woman until she did all that bullshit this morning because he oh. said that she, they said they've already had the investigations. They know that it, all the orders not to do anything came from the top and she said, well, it was just a, but they never got requests. They know they got requests. They know that a general oh. was ordered to stand down. They know that they could have had people there in a couple of hours instead it took eight hours. They know that the CIA guys were ordered to stand down and for everybody to be murdered. They know that. And yet she said that there was never any such thing done. She's really, you know, it's one of these bad moments in her life and she regrets that they couldn't have done things different. Well, they could have. Mm -hmm. But they all, they're all, they not they, to. it was a political matter because Obama was running for re-election on Al-Qaeda is going. Now Al-Qaeda is growing again, folks. Uh -huh. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. I know. Sometimes it's more about luck than it is about ability. <laughs>